it's very good to come together like this Norweg conference or some other conferences to discuss it open-minded, discuss it for the patients, bring different specialists together, bring different opinions together and then we will find a better solution. But we need also prevention for the, pay, uh, for the people in the different countries. We need also um, a better monitoring for the patients. We need a better mapping of uh, controlling system of such diseases by the national and we have to take the patients uh, symptoms serious. That's uh, the main point. To educate students, very important thing too. The situation with Lyme disease in Germany is a horrible situation because uh, it's not allowed uh, to treat longer than two or three weeks patients with chronic persistent symptoms. That's a very bad situation in Germany. But uh, we have some hope because um, we are not so restricted uh, in longer use of antibiotics uh, than maybe Norway or England or Sweden. They are very conservative. And the national health systems are in Germany not so conservative. We have more tendencies to open uh, to more open-minded therapies. In Germany we all have to be careful um, also not to over-diagnose Lyme disease, also not to misinterpret Lyme disease. That's a criticism of the opposite of the um, IDSA or the microbiologist, that's over-diagnosis. I think the truth is in the middle. Some of the doctors they do over-diagnosis, some do misdiagnosis. So we have to work together uh, with the both sides, uh, the side that it doesn't exist and the side that it exists, the truth is always in the middle. Borrelia burgdorferi is a very complicated bacteria. So the bacteria makes it complicated and makes a controversy. The controversy um, is done by the bacteria itself because it's uh, so complicated, the antigens, and to find a good test system, a standardized test system. Um, we have much easier bacteria, uh, viruses, for example, HIV. It's very easy to diagnose, but not Lyme disease. Borrelia is so complicated. We know more and more Tick studies show us that it's a dirty needle, that it's full of other bacteria, full of maybe viruses and other dirty things and the needle is stuck into your body and then you got co-infections or some other problems, some other infections and uh, that makes also the test systems uh, very complicated to find out each co-infection or opportunistic infection and to look for it because you didn't know what was in the dirty needle before. My fight is for the patient. It's not for controversies. We, uh, I have to care for the patient. The patient should be in the middle and you have to take a patient serious. Not to say the patient has a psychosomatic or psychiatric problem, a depression or something like that. You have to take serious all the symptoms of a patient and then you have to correlate it with a tick bite or some other insect bites or some other infection. Then you have to treat the patient seriously and not to say the patient is sick and he's a simulant. Okay, some patients, they have psychiatric problems, we accept this, but the psychiatric problems are coming from this chronic bacterial infection by Borrelia or some other co-infections.